All right. So love and life reviews. I'm pretty. I'm back. I'm excited. So this caught my eye. So I really like the Corona Salterita, which is kind of like a combination of a hard seltzer and uh, as well as a margarita. And so this is basically Shiner's Tall Tales cocktails inspired hard seltzer. So it's probably something along the lines of something pretty similar, but I love that they have a good variety. And there's probably something in here that at least someone would like because I love the variety and how many different things that they uh, chose to put in this pack. And that's the main thing. And it was $20 and I got it for like 19 and it was a dollar off, but yeah. So I'll get this out of the way. I'm really excited for this. I uh, I think even next week, I might even do a weekday review. There's something I've been wanting to try. A couple things. And I might just do a couple like sporadic weekday reviews. I don't know. I'm just having a good time. Honestly, I couldn't believe it. It snowed yesterday and then today. It was kind of cold in the morning. It was a long day too, but I had a blast. And then the end of the day was absolutely wonderful like you could roll your windows down a little bit and just wear like a nice jacket and even put some shorts on like i'm so excited for this summer i warned everybody this summer is gonna be awesome like where i live the winter is so cold so this summer's gonna rock i'm really excited but yeah i'm excited for the summer i love this time of year they got so many different seltzer options honestly it's just like insane how many options they have nowadays um but yeah, I'm gonna get down right down to it. I'm just probably gonna go down the line or just try which each one. I'll just show it. If I forget to, then it is what it is. But I'll try. I'll let you know what I think. Kind of like explain. But yeah, I love it. It's three grams of carbs, 100 calories, and one gram of sugar. I think the sugar is actually gonna add a little bit more flavor to it, and I'm pretty excited for that as well. And I love these cans. And the packaging was really cool. But look at the cans are really really awesome. And you know what? It does matter because it's cool. And if I'm drinking something cool, that's just, I don't know. I just, I mean, it just catches your eye. Like, that's great. This is why this caught my eye. My frogs. Let's go. But you know what I mean? It's just great marketing. I don't know. I just appreciate it because I just love the, they put some work into the can. I don't know. It's just not plain. I don't know why. I just love the artwork of it. Oh, and this is Texas Mule. Oh, wow. Whoa. Hold up. This is light and refreshing. They did it. They did just like the Corona. They said, hey, knock, knock, who's there? Yeah, we might copy you a little bit, but we're going to try and mix it up and do it better. I don't know if they're on the verge of that, but let's just, I didn't even read what I had until now. Whoa, yep. <laughs> this is gonna be a good night. I knew it, this weekend was gonna rock for some reason. I knew it. My friend called me out of the blue and he's like, hey man, what's up? And I'm like, he's like, we should get together. And I'm like, dude, let's go grab some sushi, share some stuff, have a good ass time, and get some beers and just talk. And I'll get some other group. And we just got a good group of guys. Go, Man, tomorrow just coming and just eating a bunch of food and having drinks. I don't know. Uh, this is awesome. This is just a solid drink, honestly. Like, this is a good... It's got, like, it's a Texas Mule. So, like, the aftertaste and the after kick of it is really, 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 like, subtle, unique. I, I can't put my... I can't put down what the taste is. Of it is but it's not bad I think it might just be ginger but I could be wrong hmm let me try it again but it's not bad it's good it's light it's I see what they did they mixed a seltzer it has a seltzery sparkling taste mixed with the mule taste of the ginger I think is what it really is not bad and the sugar kind of helps I can taste a little bit of the sugar wow not bad I give it a probably a seven honestly look at this Life is ruling. All right, next one. This is awesome. Uh, watermelon margarita. Shiner Tall Tales. What a tongue twister. How dare you. You're making me work to say the name of the damn product. Come on now. 
Can't you just make it easy on me? Summer's coming up. You know I'm waiting for big boat day. Damn it to hell. But yeah, look at this. This rocks. I'm excited for this. Man, I'm so excited. Woo -wee. Oh yeah. I love margaritas. Okay. That's not my favorite. The Mule's actually pretty good. It's kind of growing on me just because of this. But like I said, this is a great variety pack because it has a little bit of something for everybody. But the watermelon flavor just really is just so subtle. It's not bad or good. It's like take it or leave it, you know? And then the other taste of the seltzer. But the watermelon is kind of, oh, it's creeping up on me a little bit. But it's kind of creeping up on you. But it's not like, it's not like so bad that you can't drink it. It's probably more of like a six. But it's a little tiny bit of personality, maybe like a 6.2, you know? You know what I mean? I'm just being honest, I'm just saying. But it's not bad, and it's light, and the seltzer flavor of it is still as good as that. That uh, is a Texas Mule. I am a big Mule fan, so probably any kind of Mule I really like, but I liked how they did with that. I'd probably almost say that's almost a 7, 7.3 with the Mule now. Just, you know, it's just growing on me. You know, good personality. Thanks. All right, the next one is Mexican Martini. I love this can. I love teal. That's a cool color. Yeah. I don't know. This can looks really cool. They did a really cool job. Like, I'm not... Like, it's just cool. I don't know. I guess I, I just like art stuff. Yeah. Mexican, Mar Mexican Martini. I'm excited. I love the variety. Like, I love it. Like, they picked so many different cocktails. Thank you, Shiner. You ruin. Life rocks. It's kind of weird and unique, but I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know. The Texas Mule is growing on me. Let me get a little taste of that again. Let me, let me, let me, let me. This is like a, such a unique taste. I don't know. It might it might just not be for me. I don't know. It tells you even on the back, like a whole story about it. I'm just not gonna read it all. I I'm not even gonna put it in the description or any of that. I mean, at the end of the day, we just want taste. You know what I mean? Like, is it worth it? It's just kind of flat. Is the best way or plain. That's probably my least favorite one so far. Probably like a five-ish. It's probably my least favorite, but it's not like... But I can still drink it. That's the thing. Like, it's not undrinkable. I don't even know if that's a word or not, but I, I'm making up words like rappers. You know me. But it's not... Maybe a five and a half. A 5.5. 5. Uh, you know, maybe I'm being generous. I don't know. Guys, I'm getting a yummy out. I guarantee it just because things start growing on you over time, and then you're like, oh, that has a lot of personality. And guess what? That also matters to me. Personality. Yeah, I know, I'm just having fun. But, uh. Yep. This one I think is gonna rock. I, don't, I love the name Ruby Red Pal Paloma. I think I said it right. If I didn't, you know, that's just me. But look at, see what I'm saying? It's kind of cool. I like that they put like a little bit of a, you know, so you're drinking it and you can kind of enjoy it and also read something about it. That's kind of cool. They really did a good job with that in the marketing, I think. But I mean, I'm just saying, shout out. Nice job, China. I love this can. So cool. And I love, each can is just so unique. But yeah, I'm excited for this one. Yeah, each one's the same. 12 fluid ounces. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, it's just like all the other seltzer packs. Two, like, pretty solid ones. And two that kind of just suck. You're like, what the hell? Oh, it looks like I'm giving them away. All right, friends. 
I gotta give you some of these. And you're like, and but everyone's still having fun, like I always say. But you're like, I gotta give these away to you, and I gotta warn you about them. You know, like, why do I gotta warn you about these? Well, I got it. But yeah, honestly, this one and this one were the two best. This one's almost gone. Whoa. I've been drinking and thinking. Yep, I've been drinking and thinking. I don't know why. It's got like... The aftertaste of it is so unique. Like, these aren't the best of the best, but this one is probably my favorite one. The Ruby Red Paloma. It's almost like a grapefruit type of taste. The, each one of them brings on like a kind of like a light taste of the actual flavor. And then it goes seltzer, sparkling taste. And then at the back end, it's the flavor, but a little bit more strong version of it. Each one. So unique. Yeah, each one. I don't know. Like, I'll get a little bit of the taste. I'll get the seltzer in the back end. I get... Maybe it's just these two. Maybe that's why this one's almost gone. It's not horrible, but this is my favorite one. This one... This one's probably like... 7.7. 7.8. This is pretty good. If they have these... Just as like a single can, I would say pick this one up at least. It's a good starter. A good starter drink. If you're gonna go on big boat day or just do something fun, maybe go on a bike ride, and you're like, you know what? I know I gotta kind of sneak this drink, but this just looks like a fun drink or an energy drink. I don't know. And it sucks you gotta sneak a drink on a bike trail if you just want one good drink on the bike trail. Doesn't that kind of suck? Like you can go tailgate. When it's tailgate season, you can just drink in a parking lot, like, with a bunch of people. Like, what the hell? Maybe it's because it's controlled. I don't know what the hell. But it's just such a weird, like, I mean, what the hell? Like, what if someone wants to just open one beer and walk around town in an Applebee's parking lot? I'm just asking. I'm just wondering. I'm not going to do it. I'm just asking, okay? But, yeah, life rocks. I mean, let me get it out because this, this deserves it. Yeah, yummy. Life rocks. Love and life reviews. Let's go.